Hi, it's Dr. Carlos R. Herrera. I'm recording this video. You can reach me at Dr. Herrera, well, at sbcglobal.net. This is a videotape about my, um, for my diabetes patients to treat them uh, and to improve their quality of life and improve their glucose values. I'm going to talk about four types of diabetes, type 1, type 2, uh, combination of 1 and 2, and impaired glucose tolerance. Type 1 is, occurs in young people and uh, is usually they're thin. It's called uh, deficiency of insulin. The pancreas, which is right here, right above your belly button, uh, does not make enough insulin. That's why you have diabetes. The next one is type 2 diabetes, and that's insulin resistance. These people are middle-aged and overweight. So you have the two, type of di two types of diabetes, type 1 type 2. Type 2 is middle-aged and overweight. Your insulin is very high levels in your blood at that time. Uh, the, the problem with that is that your heart and muscle and liver cannot absorb the, the glucose into the cells so it stays out in the blood and your body is not able to use energy properly. Now you have the combination of diabetes which occurs in people uh, in 30s and 40s and you need high dose pills and insulin and or insulin to control it. Uh, this is uh, and then finally you have the glucose impairment. This occurs in any age group sugar is 100 to 140 and this can last for many years before you find out. That's why it's so important to have a physical checkup once a year or if you have family members who are overweight. Thank you so much for listening and uh, Please, I have some questions for you to answer with my assistant who will be in the room. Does diabetes 1 have too much insulin or too little? Um, how long does glucose impairment last? How long can you have it? And diabetes type 2, are they usually overweight or underweight?